All right, so I have my raw shrimp with tails off in my crock pot. Now I'm just grabbing some corn on the cob and putting it right with my shrimp. Ooh yeah. With that, I'm gonna bring in my Cajun sausage and we're just gonna go ahead and put some sausage right in there. I am using about one and a half of those Cajun sausages. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Okay, beautiful. Go ahead and just kind of spread that sausage out a little bit better. That is looking delicious. Now I'm bringing in some red onion and we're gonna go ahead and kind of just grab our onion and just scatter it in our crock pot. This is gonna be a delicious and easy dinner. I love making this on the weekends when I just want something good and yummy. Okay, I think that's probably enough onion. Now I'm coming in with my red potatoes that I did pre-boil. Potatoes take way longer to cook than the others in our crock pot, so I definitely recommend pre-boiling or starting your crock pot with just the potatoes in. Now it's time to flavor this up. I have some minced garlic here, and I'm just gonna take, you know, a few spoonfuls of my garlic and just kind of put it here and there. We want this to be extra garlic. You guys know I love my garlic. Ooh, that looks delicious. I have here two sticks of melted butter and I'm gonna go ahead and add my Old Bay seasoning to this. Just a nice, generous amount. Remember, this is gonna season up the entire crock pot, so you need to be generous, okay? Do not be skimpy with your seasoning. We want it to be packed with flavor. I would say about four to five tablespoons because this is gonna be good. That's way too much seasoning, right? <laughs> okay, maybe I did like three tablespoons. And we're gonna mix that in with the butter. This is just gonna help that seasoning spread to every corner of our crock pot. Beautiful, we're almost done you guys. So let's go ahead and drizzle that on everything. Look at, how, at that butter, look at the color of it. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Beautiful. Ooh, I am so excited you guys. I have here some bay leaves, which is the perfect little pop to our Cajun seafood boil. Yep, that's what we're doing in here. Just a few in there. Now I'm gonna come in with the lemon. Go ahead, I already sliced it to get my lemon squeezer, juicer. Put it in there and squeeze all over our crock pot. Woo! Every drop. Beautiful. And I'm only going to use half of my lemon, but I use the bigger half. So, you know, use your best judgment. Look, there is so much juice in that one. That one's juicy yeah, lemon. That was plump. <laughs> yeah. Final ingredient is some parsley. And I'm just going to go ahead and pick some parsley and just kind of sprinkle it in there wherever I feel like it's needed. You know, you can totally skip the bay leaves and the parsley. As long as you got that old bay seasoning in there, it's gonna be flavorful, but you know, a little extra flavor never hurt anybody. Plus that pop of green just makes it look so much more appetizing. The more color a dish has, the more appetizing it looks to me, and that's what I'm sticking with. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look amazing? Wow, this looks fantastic. Okay, perfect. All right, you guys, that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on and we're actually gonna only put this on low this time. All right, so it has been about two to three hours on low. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch it to warm and let's check this out. Ooh, Whoa, look that at that steam. steam. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. So. I checked it at two hours. I think it was about two and a half hours total, but you just gotta make sure all of that shrimp is completely colored. Ooh. It's a perfect color. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and fill our bowl up with all of this goodness. And the best part is you can just keep it in your crock pot on warm and then get seconds, get some of that butter on the bottom and just drizzle it on top. Oh, oh my God. 
Doesn't that look so good? Yeah, it looks fantastic. Okay, I wow. need one more corn. And I Ooh, think... you're hungry, huh? Yeah, of course, always. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try. Oh, it's gonna be so hot, babe, so definitely blow on it. Look at that perfectly cooked shrimp. And remember, I pre-boiled my potatoes, so those look nice and done as well. Mm. Is it good? So good. Oh, mm. I love that. 